There's a whole lot of hate out there over LeBron James going to the Miami Heat. And most of that hate comes from the Cleveland Cavaliers owner, Dan Gilbert. So what I'm going to do is sit down here with this pencil and this paper, right? And write a letter to Dan Gilbert. Let's see. Dear Dan, I'm writing about LeBron. Don't you think it's time you accepted that he's gone? You need to move on. Come on, LeBron made you rich. And now you want to keep crying like some punk ass bitch. If LeBron had stayed in Cleveland, you'd have thrown a big parade and called him the greatest athlete who's ever played. But because he chose Miami, you call him out his name. Benedict Arnold, so-called king, saying he quit in games. Why would you even want LeBron to stay if that's true? LeBron never quit until last week when he quit you. I bet it really burned when you heard who he chose. Dan you felt like a bachelorette who didn't get a rose. So every day you release a new statement full of rage, you're worse than a scorned woman with a Facebook page, and your statements are psychotic and twisting reality, displaying what Jesse called a slave master mentality. Dan, it really feels like you're releasing all the bloodhounds, your best slave escaped, and you want to chase them down. Vicious mobs in the street, angry that the slave is loose, yelling, screaming, burning jerseys. What's next, Dan, a noose? If you had it your way, LeBron would never run away. You wish you'd cut off half his foot like Kunta Kinte. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but Dan, that's how you sound. A white owner claiming ownership of a man who's brown. The NBA should step in, and Dan, you should be censured. The only thing in your statements that's missing is the N-word. It's easy to see why LeBron felt like leaving. Danny knew all along that you were hiding all these feelings, and it's you who the fans there in Cleveland ought to blame. Your behavior in the past week has brought them all shame. Did you really guarantee the Cavs a title before LeBron? It's time for drug testing, Dan. What you smoking on? Miami has three stars who stand leaps and bounds above. And Cleveland has a bunch of dudes who have to pay to get in the club. And when LeBron is all world holding that trophy up, Dan, you'll be all squirrel with a mouth full of nuts. Dan, I live by a rule and many people do the same. The rule is rich white people aren't allowed to complain. So if you still want to insist that LeBron screwed you, Dan, then just shut up, bite the pillow, and take it like a man. Sincerely... Chris Paul.